Today it's all about repairing my felts. Subscribe to this channel. I'll be put put. <laughs> I'll be putting fishing videos up every Thursday. We're gonna do uh, some really cool things. So let me ask you this. Have you ever ripped off the felt to your waders? And I guarantee you the answer is yes. About a couple weeks ago, I was fishing and that's exactly what happened to me. The felt of the boot came completely almost off. So I had to like use my shoes, shoelaces to uh, you know tie that thing up so I'm not tripping over myself and breaking my neck. Come on, get down, you stupid camera. All right, so now that we know the answer is yes, um, I never had any luck with gluing these soles back on. It used to be just a new pair of boots, but not this time, no way, my friends. I'm trying to outsmart this one. Um, they have a lot of good products out there, but I had some, these boots are about seven years old, but I had some JB Weld in, the, uh, when my, in my toolbox, so that's what I'm gonna use to try to uh, repair these guys. But as you can see, I put these boots, so, I don't know what this is. I shouldn't even have, I should have threw this away, but it's the JB Weld. It's actually for plastic. I don't even know if it's going to work. If it doesn't work, you're probably not going to see this video. But if it does work and hold out, then uh, you probably will see this video. But anyway, I'm not about to spend $200 on a uh, new pair of boots without going down swinging. So I had some extra JB Weld in the toolbox. Kind of brushed off the, the uh, felts best I could. I should actually... Uh, I should have recorded this, but I, I actually I didn't even really think about it until I uh, had the idea of backing over the uh, boots with my truck to kind of you know hold it down because they always say once you get the JB Weld on there, you want to put compression on it to hold it or the glue to hold it. it doesn't have to be JB Weld, but today it is. So anyway, I had this idea. It's like you know what these boots they're seven years old. This is it for them. Okay, this is going to work, or I'm going to get a new pair of boots. I'm not a fan of felt and. <clears throat> That's only because when you go from one stream to another stream, you could be uh, carrying some type of, you know, uh, invasive tree plant life. And the odds of that happening, I think, are slim, but the odds are out there and the odds you should be aware of this as well. I, I like to be part of the solution and part of the potential problem. So the new pair of boots that I will get will be rubber soled. They will be stitched on the uh, soles to help them from not falling apart like these felts do. A lot of these felts now are actually stitched. So if you do buy a new boot, make sure they're stitched at the soles. You, you'll be able to see them. Most of them nowadays are stitched. So back to my felts there. Um, so I put basically the whole, like I said, I really wish I would have filmed this, but I just, I uh, had a lot going on here, but I wanted to stop and uh, share this with you. So anyway, the felts can go uh, get completely almost off the uh, boot to the heel pretty much. I just took whatever I had from that JB Weld because I'm not probably not going to use it in the near term here. So, filled that thing back up, put it together, put it underneath the tire of my truck, backed over the truck, back the truck, backed over the truck, back the truck over the boot, and uh, I'm going to probably let it out there for a good maybe. It says 15 minutes to set up, 30 minutes to fully cure, but I'm probably going to leave it out there for like an hour because I have nothing better to do and it's going to be sitting on my truck. Under, under my wheel. So I'm not going to get rid of them without a fight. But I am planning a trip out west to the Snake River this, um, I think August. But anyway, I will have rubber boot soles from there. I'm not going to travel clear out there and be unprepared. I put these under the truck. It's a massive amount of weight on it. It's, uh, I have an F-250 diesel. I tell you, it's, uh, it's on there pretty good. If this thing comes apart, it really surprised me. If this thing doesn't hold like this, I'm, th I'm done. I'm throwing them away. The glue, you know, the, the weld actually came out, and this stuff's rock solid, obviously. It's like concrete. So I told you, I backed the truck on top of these boots, and you can see how the felt, it just crushed everything. And what I'm hoping is, is the weight of the truck would have absorbed, the help, helped the felt absorb some of the weld, the JB weld, into the felt, into the boot area, and uh, I'm gonna have a really good uh, seal there. My biggest thing was whenever I've done this before, it would hold for like, uh, you know, two or three times, but that was like 10 years ago and technology has changed. And I now have a Super Duty that I backed on top of this. The only down part I can see is the flexibility of the toe. It's not like the other one. Here's the, uh, the other boot. I mean, you can actually, you know, you can actually see the curve difference. So it's not, it's not, that bad but it is noticeable so I know it's not going to fit like the old one if it's going to be an issue or not 
I honestly, I highly doubt it, but uh, I'll check it out this week and uh, see how it holds up. But if this thing can give me another end of season life on it, I'm good with that.